Hi, hi, hi. I'm coming. Hang on. Just takes a minute to the... 2012, I bought this from Mattress Firm, and it still looks so high-tech, doesn't it? Look at that. Looks like I stole it off of a spaceship. There she is, Miss America. <laughs> did your mom ever tell you that story? I don't know if she did. But we both went out for a pageant, her senior year, my junior year. And I can't remember what your mother got, but I think that I actually was second runner up to the Grand Poopa, Miss Scottsdale. Of all places. I mean, not that it was much when we were growing up. Obviously, that was before the tech boom. I was there last year. There were three Teslas in the parking lot of the Chili's. Where else are they going to go, right? But three Teslas in the Chili's on Talking Point Way at the 101. Have you ever been to that one? They got a problem with the fajitas. How is your mother? She never texts me back. I wrote things on her Facebook. My friend Janine posted something on Facebook, and I found it so inspiring that I, I, um, I posted it on our wall. And of course, I never heard anything. Maybe I'm going to try to find it and post it again. And obviously, I am never going to find it now. So I will. You know what? I will find it later and I will uh, post it and she can respond. And I want to hear about you. How are you doing? And you know, I was thinking that we shouldn't need something like this to, um, I was just thinking that we shouldn't need this type of thing to get us to get together. But now because we can't get together, we're actually, you know, getting together more than we've been getting together. And I even, I actually sent a card to Jimmy. I mean, how, how is he? Do you, do you ever talk to him? I mean, I sent him a card, obviously, because I'm worried, because out of everyone I know that he was the one person where I always thought, wow, what is that idiot going to do with his life? I mean, he has absolutely no hope of ever doing anything with anyone, and he's got nothing going for him. I mean... He's going to be one of those people that the neighbors find when they start to have a smell after a couple of weeks or a dog starts scratching at a door and they open it up and they find the body seeping into the car. Not that that's what we want for Jimmy. No, we want great things for Jimmy and I hope he gets the card. <laughs> I've been sending a lot of cards. I've been sending a lot of cards because of my, friends, my friend Janine. I told you about her earlier. Janine. <sighs> She's been encouraging everyone to buy stamps to save the post office because they're trying to take the post office away. I think it has something to do with, there's this whole underground network, this whole secret underground network of mail traffickers. And I know, I don't know if you've heard about it, but there's this group of people who are trying to overthrow the post office so that they can gain control of the data and transfer it to their secret underground mail trafficking networks. So. Janine and I, needless to say, have been buying up all the stamps that we can as if it's a matter of life and death, because clearly it is. Um, but I mean, there is a real risk that if we don't all buy all the stamps right now, that we are going to be at the mercy of these, uh, you know, monkey sellers. And what kind of world is that? I mean, they'll have us moving cages all day. Picking them up and putting them down and staring in the eyes of one monkey after the next, after the next, after the next. And when they run out of monkeys, we'll be the monkeys and they'll use this as a drug. You know, little drug monkeys. We'll all be secret little drug monkeys run by their multi-trafficking drug ring. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. How are you doing? You doing okay? <laughs> 